Hi everyone! So today's video is going to be on this look here. This is something I was wearing on my April favorites and I wanted to go ahead and film this tutorial for you. It's really super simple and super cute. I hope you guys like this and if you want to see how to achieve this look, just keep on watching! Okay, so we're going to start off by pinning our hair back because, you know, we don't want hair in our face while we're trying to prep and prime with this Urban Decay Prep Spray. I'm going to spray this all over and then I'm going to use a primer right after, but it's going to be this one right here, this anti-redness one. I've been loving this lately and it's really taken down the redness in my face, so it really sets all of the foundation that I'm going to put on later. Um, I go ahead and let this just kind of soak in for a minute while I do my brows and I'm going to be using this uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills angular brow pencil thingy majigger. Um, I use the brow wiz as well but I really like this and I have been using this for the last I don't know month month and a half so I went ahead and did this um, I'm gonna fill them in just the sparse areas and just kind of give it a little bit more shape and then I'm gonna go in with the stylus brow plumper by L'Oreal and go ahead and fill in the rest of those brows and set them down so that they stay all day. Now that the brows are on point, I'm gonna go ahead and use the stick foundation from Makeup Forever. I have used this a couple times and I really like the finish that it gives, so I went ahead and used it in this tutorial. It's actually quite easy to use and it blends out so nicely. You really don't have to use too much product to really get a full coverage result from it. So I went ahead and used this e.l.f. brush and just gave myself a really nice light coverage on my face with the stick foundation and then I used this brush which was amazing and it gives me an airbrush finish. Uh, I'm, maybe it's the way that the bristles are, I don't know, I just really like it right now. And I'm going to go ahead and set this all down with the NYX flat, oh I'm sorry, stay matte but not flat powder. I really like this powder, it's kind of powdery and it kicks up a little bit but it works really well on the skin. I'm using an e.l.f. powder brush that has a flat top. I really like this to kind of set everything in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the contour using the Shade and Light palette. I've been loving this palette. Obviously, I use it on my tutorials. I've been using it on my eyes in the crease. Um, yeah, it's kind of my go-to for everything right now. And I am obviously gonna use it today. And I'm going to use this not only on my face powder-wise, and I'm gonna be using this in my eyes. First up is my face, so I'm going to go ahead and hollow out these cheeks and do the temples, the high points of my forehead, and the undercarriage of my jaw because I have a little fluff down there that I like to go ahead and contour and chisel out. Um, I'm going to be using this more grayish tone color from my crease, and when I do that, I'm going to really just buff this in all over the lid because this is going to be our transition color. Then I'm going to take the darkest tone in the palette and use that just um, to kind of give it a little bit more depth. And by doing that, that's going to cause um, the crease itself to look a little bit more deep set. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is once that's nice and blown out and there's no harsh lines, I'm going to go in with Cocoa Bear. I'm using Cocoa Bear only today. So this is the only shadow that I'm going to be using on my eyes other than the contour kit. I love this shadow in all by itself. It's just beautiful. It looks so good on all different eye tones. It just makes like blue eyes pop and would look so good on all eye colors. Anyway, so now that I'm done ranting about how much I love this color, what I'm doing is using this Morphe brush and I'm going to buff this in using um, very kind of smaller strokes and really patting that on there because I want to blow it out but I don't want it to be too high up to the brow. So what I'm doing is just taking it really, really low to start off with and then slowly working out some of the harsh edges using windshield wiper motions and small circular motions. Now I'm gonna take this MAC 242 brush and just pack Cocoa Bear on the lid. 
and then after I'm done kind of you know making sure that the color is as intense as I want it to be I will go through again and blend out some of those harsh edges because sometimes you lose that in translation so I wanted to go ahead and just make sure everything was nice and blown out after I pack this on with that 242 brush and then I'm going to go ahead and use this underneath as well and just put that on the lower lash line again using smaller motions just so I can make sure that it's nice and blended out not so you know sharp and kind of jagged I really want to make sure that it's going to be nice and blown out all the way around my eye. Now I'm going in with Shima Shima and I'm going to be taking this 201 brush from Real Techniques and just putting that in the inner corners just to brighten this up just a touch because I think it really needs it. I'm going to put this under the brow bone too and just kind of liven that up and make sure that I blend all of those together so that there's again no harsh lines. from Urban Decay and I'm putting this in my waterline on the very bottom. I'm going to tight line the top and put on some mascara and do my lashes, um, doing false lashes as well as mascara and curling them because I think it's really important to make sure that you curl your lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will move forward with the falsies and all of that jazz. lashes today these are called the lily lashes from camera cosmetics this is my own lash line and I love them because they're super full and like just dramatic and they've got so much kind of drama to them so I went ahead and used those I'm also using uh, a NYX I believe it's truffle oh I want to say truffle butter but I know that's not right <laughs> I think it's a new truffle. I'm gonna go ahead and use that on my lips today. And then Cosmo from MAC because the color tonality is very similar to Coco Bear, so I thought that they would be a great compliment to each other. So this is the final look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this. Thank you so much for all the love and support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.